so working with git you might have stumbled upon this scenario where uh, you are working on a project you have made some changes into some files you have added new files you have removed some of the files and uh, someone comes and then ask you to uh, do a hard fix to resolve a very critical issue and uh, what would you do in this scenario well first you might want to clean this existing branch git branch and then you will create a new branch a temporary branch and then you will switch back to that branch and do your hotfix push that uh, hotfix and then you will switch back to the original branch that you have been working on and resume your work well how would you do that so the first way and the most obvious way is to uh, do this by using git test so using git test you will be able to uh, clean your existing uh, dirty git branch so git test will uh, store all your changes uh, at, a, at a at a safe place and then you can restore that uh, all the changes back to your branch so that is a pretty obvious way and i have uh, created or i have uh, created a video uh, for git test separately so if you want to check out i will uh, link it uh, at uh, o link but recently i have got to learn about uh, an alternative way of handling this situation uh, using a tool called git worktree so let me just show you what is it first so this is the uh, main page of uh, git worktree tool so as it says it lets you manage multiple working trees for a git repository so if i go deeper manage it uh, lets you manage multiple working trees attached to the same repository so what does this mean so essentially using git work tree you will be able to create a replica or multiple replicas of the git repository that you have been working on so let me show you how this is uh, working so for instance if i go to my workspace and so let's say uh, this test folder this is a repository and uh, git repository and uh, if you can see we have a dot git folder and it holds all the information related to or git for this particular repository and that's uh, that's how this particular repository is called a work tree now git work tree will allow you to uh, create a similar work or a similar uh, directory of this repository but you will be able to uh, you you won't be touching this uh, particular directory and you will be able to switch back to that particular work tree and then do your changes so let me sh uh, show you this by an example so let me just move this uh, move i mean uh, switch back to this folder in vs code so i have all of these files let me change something in this so for instance so if i can first show you uh, let me first um, move into that directory so currently i am not into it so workspace test so the current branch is called new branch okay and if i do git status the branch is uh, clean currently so let's do some changes into it so let's say i change it to checking work tree and do one more change in this file called echo work tree so now if i check git status i have two files 
uh, which are modified and now uh, let's imagine that scenario where someone comes in and asks you to uh, do some hotfix okay so we'll uh, do we'll use a git work tree in this case so how does this work so currently uh, we cannot actually create a new branch because we have this particular new branch uh, dirty at our hand so we'll use git work tree and this is how it works so we'll use git and work tree so first i will show you how many commands are there for git work tree so if i just hit enter and this is these are all the commands that uh, git work tree comes with so add list lock move run remove and unlock but in this particular video we'll just uh, cover couple of commands that i will show you so first we'll create a work tree of this test directory okay so what i'll do is git work tree and then add then hyphen b and i will give a branch name that i'll i am going to create so let's say it says hot fix so this will be the branch name and i will give a path to my new work tree so let's say i want to create a new branch in the same uh, directory called workspace and next to test so let's say i give it a name called temp so a temp directory will be uh, created uh, which have the same work tree of the test uh, directory so the temp okay and uh, it will create this branch from new branch so as you can see it has created a new a new work tree called temp okay and the head is the git head is on this particular commit right now so let me show you what happened so we have this test directory uh, which was existing previously and now we have a new uh, work directory called temp and if i go into this particular folder you will see it has all the same files that our test folder had and if i go to that particular uh, directory or work tree uh, using push d temp we will see uh, it has automatically switched back to the hotfix uh, branch that we had created over here and if i show you the status git status so there is this branch is clean all right and uh, what does this mean that means you will be able to uh, do your work without doing or uh, without uh, without uh, making that uh, test directory dirty or uh, without disturbing the 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 main directory that is the test so if i uh, switch back to test once again so i will do it using pop d so it will switch back to the test directory and as you can see it has the new branch as the current branch for this test folder and if i can show you its status as you can see the branch is still at the same uh, same state as uh, it was previously because we hadn't touched it uh, and uh, we created a hotfix branch onto a new uh, work tree called temp so let's uh, move once push to temp okay and we can do whatever changes we want so if i go into temp and if i open this let's say in text editor 
we'll do some changes echo test save it and now if I ch check it if I get status now you can see the file is modified I can just do uh, git add dot git commit and this am doing hot fix and then git push so the 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 changes has been pushed onto this particular branch and that's how uh, we can uh, we are will be able to do two things at a time i mean we have two work trees one is test and one is temp the temp has all the temporary changes that you would do uh, in uh, when you want to do a hotfix kind of thing so that's it and now let me show you a few more things related to git work tree so let me show you one more thing so we if we want to check how many work trees uh, we have we can uh, do this by git work tree and paste so as you can see for this particular repository we have two work trees one is test test and the second is temp the test folder the test work tree is on the new branch and the temp work tree is on the hotfix branch now since we have pushed all the changes from the hotfix uh, branch of the uh, temp work tree we can uh, remove it uh, we remove this work tree as well so for this we can use git work tree and remove and then you will need to give the temp <laughs> okay so what i'll do is i will switch back to the test work tree first so pop d and then use the same command but with temp okay <clears throat> okay so why is it so so let me just first see git work tree so we have a git remove command okay so yeah what i'll do is uh, So we have okay I think it has already already been removed and that's why uh, it showed this error okay 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 so that's how uh, this will work I I hope you will you have learned something out of this and if you do consider subscribing to the channel and like this video uh, that will motivate me to do or uh, create a video like this in the future as well and that's it uh, i will catch you in the next one bye